So, what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we are be going to tie um, like a peeping cat is uh, pattern similar to these I've made already and uh, dressed. You can, as you see, make them both out of the, both out of the Shertro channel or just like this one. Uh, it's like an orange, but I think the Shertro is like more common. It works even, even better. Um, I'm using a jig hook for this. This time, I think this is the first jig uh, we are tying on. Uh, the thread I'm using today, that is a Samperfly Nano Silk uh, in black in 50 denier. And uh, we'll start by attaching the thread to the hook shank. And uh, this is the channel, the Chartreau, the Refluor Chartreau channel I'm using this uh, time. And uh, we start by burning just like this, and then just to put out the fire. This is going to be the cactus itself peeping, peeping out. And of course, be very much careful when you work with uh, open fire around your uh, flight tying kit and stuff and glues and stuff so you have to be have to be have to be careful we are going to tie this in so the end of the caddis is sticking out like this it uh, depends on you know how how long you want it to stick out not much further than this some people prefer it to be shorter but it's supposed to be peak peeping out of the housing so i'm using and placing it like this uh, the rip of the fly, we are using a sample fly silver wire for that uh, in 0 0.2 mil. And the wire is in an important piece of the fly, and we'll see, see that a little bit later. Uh, for the legs of the fly, I'm using a brown hen. Just a nice uh, size feather like this. So we take the tip of the feather and... Uh, we're going to tie in the tip first this time. I'm going to tie it in just there securely. And the um, tips of the legs uh, would be in length, like something like uh, not matching exactly the caddis, but close to that. Like, uh, you know, it's not going to go, it should not go much further than that. But those are the, like the legs of the nymph that is just pushing itself out of the housing. Um, snip off the tag end, and then we are going to open those fibers up. I had pretty good success with this fly in the spring time and like late spring here in Iceland. Uh, I think though that like, you know, trout is trout, especially the brown trout end. It's going to just love it if you're going to <laughs> offer the trout... Uh, this piece of a uh, flight, just I think any any part of the season, it's gonna go for it. So we tie the legs in like this, so they're like yeah, almost all the way to the um, where the cat is just peeping out, and then we bring them th bring the thread forward and tie in the wire. Yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you'll tie in the wire and, uh, and then comes the very fun part we are using actually a 3.2 mil uh, fulling mil slotted bit and we are using a jack mini jig hook from rx number 12. Uh, when i'm speaking about the fun part that is this uh, dubbing job we are using a seal for substitute and I'm using a hair mask as well and then I'm using this uh, black tubbing, rapid tubbing or hair tubbing, it doesn't matter and with those three materials I've mixed them together like uh, just in my hands just pinching them back and forward and we mix all those materials together and then we start to tie them or, or get them on the thread to make a tubbing noodle.
So we uh, start to bring our noodle on the on the hook shank like this. Uh, you have to be careful there. So the hook point is not going to be eating or, or pinching your tubbing. And then we are going to wrap this forward. And you can see how dark it gets. I mean, how, how dark the body of the fly is. And uh, that's why I'm mixing those uh, colors together to get it relatively dark uh, shaped. We are going to just add more tubbing onto the onto the thread as needed, and uh, we want to create a tapered body uh, to the front of the bead. So and it is okay if the body is like bulky at this point. Because the wire is gonna and the wire is gonna, be gonna Og við viljum hafa náttúrulega þetta er svona hilki að líta We do have another like a cat is peeping cat is part of here in that is called peacock which is actually the most I'm not going to speed this up a little bit here, but uh, the peacock is based kind of on the uh, same idea with this, um, with this uh, same same house housing housed caddis or peeping caddis. Now we are going to bring the th the uh, wire. In the counter direction of the thread, we are going to lock in the wire here with few tight wraps and then going to helicopter the wire off. And the wire in this uh, fly plays like an important uh, role, and I will show you when we finish the fly. Yep, finally helicoptered off. Uh, then we start to create like the like a hat on the fly and do a whip finish. I mean, uh, if you don't want to leave your thread like this, you could add more tubbing and to hide the knot. Some tires like that, and put even like a color in uh, like a different color than the body. It just you know all depends on how you want to dress your fly. And we're going to zoom in, see how it looks. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. And you can see how tightly I'm wrapping the wire. You see the segments there. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, now I'm going to take my brush. You can do it with uh, this old tooth toothbrush I have. It's softer than the dubbing brush. But you can, of course, use dubbing brush to kind of get the fur out of the body. And then the wire comes in very handy and tight wraps with the wire. So... It really holds the body, even though you rip it out with your tubbing brush. So it makes the uh, makes the fly like a lot buggier, and uh, and I like it to be a little bit buggy at least. Uh, then we are going to place just uh, the UV resin on the knot and on the hat, and we are going to torch that, cook that with our uh, UV torch, and then we are kind of good to go. The Pippin cat is, cat is is ready. I just want to say thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.